All right, so here's the aquaponics unit I built. This is designed to fit right in the back of the fish tank. You pull out your uh, back glass panel and your hood and insert this in. It's got four holes for three-inch net pots. It's got several smaller holes. I think they're three-eighths inch to uh, allow some water flow through there. And the bottom's open as well. We're going to run some air straight up in, and that's going to get some water circulating through there. It's made of acrylic, eighth-inch acrylic, so that... Uh, Hopefully it will leach very few chemicals into the water like many of the other plastics out there. It's black to uh, block any light from penetrating into where the roots are so that we don't get algae growth on the roots. I experimented with something like this before. I made a makeshift sort of unit in the back of the fish tank. Um, and the plants actually grew really well. It grew some lettuce, some butter crunch, and it did really well. It actually went to seed and I pulled it out just the other day. It was just an experiment so we didn't eat it. As you notice, I do have a couple little uh, uh, extra plastic pieces on here. This is essentially to help divide up the fish tank, at least on the surface, so that we can grow duckweed in the front area here to feed some of the fish. So let me take you over to the fish tank, and I'll show you roughly what I did to make this. Sorry if I get my finger in front of the lens. Let's walk on over here. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're putting this right in the back here and the real reason why I did this sort of unit is because I thought a lot of the other units did not look quite as good as what I wanted got some tomato growing back here in just a, a pot whoop may have to edit this video a little bit <laughs> alright so basically this is gonna fit right in the back here it's gonna fit right down in there I'm going to probably do this off camera because I need two hands and I'm holding the camera right now. But basically what I did to come up with the dimensions, and again I'm doing this one-handed, took the glass lid off as well as the back plastic piece, measured all the way on top of the lip, all the way to the frame of the aquarium, measured all the way to the frame of the aquarium over here, took that dimension, then I measured all the way from on top of the lip to the frame of the aquarium here, into the hinge, up to where... Uh, the glass piece would go. On both those dimensions I took off about a quarter inch just for a little bit of play when I built the unit just in case I'm not exactly an expert. This is my first acrylic project. Um, so that's basically where I am with that. And the reason why I did this, so many of the other units that are available for fish tanks or what other people have made um, just look a little bit not quite as aesthetically pleasing as what I like. This is built to be Almost inconspicuous in the fish tank. The back of my fish tank is blue. This is black. This all essentially blend right in. The other ones, they have the media-based uh, uh, pots on top, essentially is what they are. They fill it with hydrogen, gravel, whatever it may be. They've got to pump water in, whether it's ebb and flow, or whatever method they use, or if they do the constant flow. And that's going to make more noise. It's not going to look quite as nice. So I'm going to try this out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and fit this down in here. I'm going to start up the video again. All right, so here's the aquaponics unit installed in the aquarium. As you can see, we've got the four holes there for the plants. We've got a net pot sitting in here. We're going to fill this with hydrogen. Again, that's a little bit lighter. So uh, especially since I use the eighth inch acrylic, uh, that's probably the wiser choice. Um, I'm going to probably just put lettuce in here, but I may do some cilantro or some other herbs that do well in the back of the, or that do in a floating raft system or in the back of a fish tank like this. I'm going to try to give you a view of the front here. I'm um, probably getting a lot of reflection, but uh, overall that unit hides pretty well. That upper part in the back that's black is the aquaponics unit where you're going to grow your vegetables. Got all my other fish waiting for me to feed them. Take a look at the unit from the side and again takes up a small area here um, right in the back there doesn't really stand out a whole lot so it doesn't take away from the uh, appeal of your fish tank whatever you have going on so again uh, next video we're probably going to be showing you how to put the uh, seedlings in, um, go over some do's and don'ts of aquaponics, take it from there. And again, I'm not an expert, this is a learning journey, so if you have any comments, please put them in the comments section. Um, if I think of anything, I'll put it in there as well as I'll, I'm going to do a few more videos. And if you could like this video, do the thumbs up, that would help me out greatly. I would appreciate it. Have a good one, guys.